So guys, what's going on? So it's over and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. So last we left off, I did say that we were going to do some hardcore taming on stream and uh, try and get that crocodile. Well, you know what? Crocodiles continue to be quite possibly the hardest thing in existence to find. So we had to settle, albeit we settled for something fucking badass. We settled for a motherfucking Carnotaurus. Do you see this shit? That is insane, and actually very quickly, I probably do one up on Diego, because I've been continuously getting attacked by Dillos slash Dilos, and they've kind of been destroying my butthole. It has not been a fun experience. We have so much spoiled meat. Oh my god. Diego, what have you been doing with all your meat? Jesus. Anyways, uh, very quickly, it is probably in our best interest that we get some food, because I am pretty much starving at this point, so I'm getting attacked by Dillos. And uh, every time I was trying to start the video, what would happen is my computer would go, the stupid Windows update would show up. Not the Windows update, the Windows notification, like, you're per you should turn on Windows 7 Basic because your performance is kind of shitty. And I'm just like, okay, you know what, thanks for doing that. As I'm getting attacked by Dillos, like, I literally fell off the roof of my house. It was the stupidest thing ever. And if you can't tell, I'm kind of salty. We're also dying because of how fucking freezing it is. I don't know why it's so cold all of a sudden. Is there like a cold front or something? There's something... I don't know, some bad shit going on, and I don't want to partake in it because we're actually dying right now. That's actually really bad. We don't have any... Oh, well, we got thatch. Yeah, let's do thatch then. Light this fire. I don't get why we're so cold. And why we're continuing to be so cold. It has to be like a cold front or something. This is crazy. We actually might just die. <laughs> what? We're actually gonna die from this. Uh, maybe if we repair our pants, maybe our like private parts are getting a bit cold. Is that it? This doesn't make sense for us to be this cold right now. Do you guys see this, right? This makes no sense. Whatever. We're just gotta munch really hard right here. We gotta get as much food in us as possible. Raise that health. Maybe if we have more food, we'll be warmer. I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, there's actually an airdrop over there. I kind of do want to grab it, but I also don't want to die. So this is a bit of a predicament. Uh, maybe if we just continue eating meat, it'll bring us up. But I think it's going to bring us up too, too crazily here. Uh, well, on the bright side, we did level up. And this level marks a very important level. Because we're at 39, we're about to hit the level up. So if we level up, you honestly just level up health. Because I'm pretty sure that might bring our health back to full. I don't know. We have now hit level 40, boys. That is right. And with level 40 comes a whole plethora of new recipes for us to learn. Still have no clue how the hell we're freezing. Maybe if we're like... Is our house warmer than that? I... This actually makes... Okay, there we go. We're not freezing in the house. I'm okay with this. But if we go up... Do we start freezing here? We do. Alright, so moral of the story. Stay in the house. Moral taken. Alright, well... At least our health isn't going to be dropping anymore. So we can take this opportunity to go ahead and see all this awesome stuff that we have unlocked over here at level 40. So I don't know where it begins exactly. I think it, well, it obviously ends here. We have electronics. You just create electronic devices. Huh. And metal irrigation. There's a, is, is metal like better or something? We got a bunch of metal stuff. Metal dino gateway. Okay. Polymer. That can be made at the fabricator. Ooh, a silencer attachment. I would not mind crafting one of those, actually. What do we need for that? Supports the long neck rifle. Like, we could do some spec op shit with that, but the things that I'm interested in over here are the Anklo saddle and the mammoth saddle, because one of these two bad boys is probably the next thing we're going to try and tame. Uh, the thing is, they are both herbivores, so we need the mother of all berries to do it. And uh, a lot of narco berries too. So the game plan is uh, probably today. I'm actually going to be streaming for uh, quite a while, I think, because we did get the sub button and whatnot. But I don't want to talk about that too much. This is the YouTube series. I try to keep those two things kind of separate for the most part. Uh, oh, it's not cold anymore. Woo! We can probably head upstairs and not freeze to death. Let's get the food and then let's start heading for the airdrop because there might be some good shit for us there. Let's hop on Diego and dip. Let's go, Diego. Go, Diego, go. Anyways. Oh shit, not going that way. And Frodo probably have some level ups. We could check that up. Like I was saying, uh, with that, I think the Anklo or the Mammoth is one of the two next things I'm going to get. Uh, I would show off, you know, maybe we'll bring out the Carno a little bit and just watch him fight. We can't ride him yet 
because we have to get a shit ton of keratin because I actually have to do a trade with a demo uh, to try and get the saddle unless someone else is level 50 in the server and can craft the saddle, but uh, I'm not sure on that. Anyways, let's hurry up. This thing's actually about to break, to my knowledge. Uh, game, thank you for always freezing at the best moments. Oh, that's why there's a fucking Carno right there and a Stego. You know what? Stegos are good, though. We do want to continue, like, killing them. Uh, oh, hello. Well, we'll take the blueprint, although we already have it. Might as well. Uh, not really much worth taking, I guess. Oh, shit. That's the Carno. Oh, Diego. Diego, where are you? We gotta run. There's a Carno. Actually, no. We gotta kill it because we're murderers like that. Yeah, let's kill the Carno. Let's put him in his place. Get out of here, bitch boy. Hehehe. <laughs> Nerd. There we go. Okay, let's not get stuck on him, Diego. That's bad. Uh, do you have an inventory? No, a carno without an inventory. How embarrassing. What a scrub lord. Cheeky scrub lord. Anyways, now that that's done, that crate really was not worth it. If anything, we want to be heading for, uh, in a couple levels, we want to start going for purple airdrops. Those are going to be level 45. But uh, at this point, or no, are purple 35? No, no, no. I think purple or 45. What's 35 then? I think yellow might be 35? I don't know. Screw this raptor though. I'm not putting up with his shit today. There's a lot of stegos around there. That's good. Because we want to go on stego murdering sprees. Because A, they have prime meat on them. Although we probably want to save that for when we actually need it. Is my volume really this loud? Feels like it's a bit louder than it should be. I don't know. We're starving. Shit, that's not good. Let's be sure to munch up a little bit. Let's have our guy take a poop too. Let's continue munching a little bit. And what the hell's going on here? We got Bane, who actually probably has some level ups to his name too. I do want to show that off. Bane, are you ready? It's your big day, big boy. Uh, we're just going to continue doing movement speed with this guy. And then pretty soon he should get some more levels because that's what we want him to be. We want him to be the crack baby of the group. Just freaking straight up sprinting like Usain Bolt. It's going to be great. Uh, he's got a bunch of prime meat on him. That's not what I care about. I'm going to give... Bane over here, some of the spoiled, so he doesn't go hungry. There you go, Bane. Go ahead, start devouring that whenever you feel the need. I got you, buddy. I got you. And uh, we got Queen Carnage over here, which is the name we did decide on. Ooh, she's got all my narcotics. Fucking give me those. Jesus Christ, she's trying to take them from us. What a savage. All right, I'm going to put those away, though. We, if you couldn't tell, we used quite a lot of narcotics. But uh, I think we ended up using... We started with, like, 80. Now we're down to 25, so... It's alright though, because like I said, one of the next two mounts that we're going to be trying to tame, either the Ankylosaur or the Mammoth, is going to be, whatchamacall, they're going to be herbivores, and uh, it's going to take a couple hours either way, so. Uh, Ankylosaurs though, those are going to be awesome for gathering, if we want to gather like stone and stuff, that's what they excel at, like gathering just stone slash metal, pretty much anything related to stone. While the Mammoth is best for like chopping down, like just getting massive amounts of wood, so uh, pretty, I, either way it's going to be some pretty cool stuff. Anyways, now that our health's starting to recover a bit, I do want to bring out Queen Carnage here. Put you on, actually let's level you up a little bit, let's look at her stats. 500 health, 176 melee damage, so not the nuttiest thing. Uh, let's. We, I honestly want to work on her stamina the most. I feel like that's what she could benefit in most. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure how great her damage is because We've had Diego fucking up Carnotauruses for a good amount of time, actually, so I don't want to take her out and attack something too crazy, but I want to attack something, just something that might be like a bit of a challenge. Okay, you, you want to follow me there, Carnage? Uh, I don't know. I don't think she does. Anyways, yeah, on today's stream or whatever I was talking about, probably going to try and tame the ankle sore or that's if you guys want to check that out, if it's still going on. Uh, I always have the link in the description somewhere for my that Twitch link, so you can check me out there, but enough shameless plugging. We're here for real shenanigans. What was I doing here? Oh yeah, I wanted to enable her to follow us. Let's come on, girl. We gotta go and fuck some shit up. I gotta put you to work here. Damn it, Queen Carnage. You you have to learn to... Oh, okay, this is... Uh, okay, uh, you're getting there. You're getting... Uh, mm, eh, I, e, o... Oh. Beep, bop, beep, boop, bah, ah. Yeah, alright. Well, it seems that we did not get to the smartest of... Oh, no, she managed it. I'm not sure how she managed it. Okay, um, you. Attack this. Oh my god, don't get me in the process. There you go, there you go. Good job. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Ooh. 
Good job, Queen Carnage. Holy shit. Uh, she definitely put in work there. Uh, let's get all the meat from that. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. It lagged a little bit. I was about to be like, uh-oh. Uh, let's give you some of this meat. This is easy XP too for her to level up, so that's a double whammy there. Uh, do we try and have her take on a Stego? Because if she... D let's go Trike. Trike seems like a bit... Nothing too insane of a challenge here. Let's see what she can take on. Let's see how well she does against the trike. And then we'll see if she's worthy of other shit. Oh no, don't don't look at me! Attack my dinosaur! There we go. Oh no, I just shat myself watching this battle. You better win, Queen Carnage. Like, if you lose, this is kind of embarrassing, actually. Okay. Well, she did some work on the trike, that's for sure. Uh... I kind of just want to enable... Disable? Oh, so she's not collecting the trike's items? That's actually kind of weird. I'd have expected her to do that. Whatever though, I'm not complaining. Let's get as much of that meat and hide, I guess, as possible. Uh, if we want to though, we actually do need a lot of keratin. So, it's not a bad idea that we go on like a stegosaur murder spree too. Alright, well I don't want her to die, so I'm gonna wait for her health to go back up. Uh, here she's leveling up a little bit. Let's work on her melee damage, see how much that jumps up, just so she's a bit, a bit of a good fighter here. And, uh, but from what I hear though, Carnotauruses, they're notorious for how bad their stamina is. So it's probably a good idea that I just kind of focus on stamina, because uh, when they get tired, they get tired as hell. But uh, they can be pretty fast, so... I don't know what we want to do with this as our mount, but uh, we'll definitely do something. Anyways, now then, a true test of your might, Mr. Carnotaur. Or Mrs. Carnotaur, I apologize, that's why we named her Queen Carnage. I was gonna name... I was gonna name her Carnage, because that's actually a really badass name, at least in my opinion. Uh, but then we, I realized it was a girl, and people were saying, ah, can you name her, like, Queen Carnage? That way it kind of makes sense, and I'm like, eh, I, I suppose... Suppose I can do that. Alright, well, Queen Carnage, if you die to this thing, I'm gonna be very salty, so please don't die. Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Don't die, I swear to god- Ow! I'm getting whacked by the fucking ta- Ow! Come on, Carno. Come on, Carno. You seriously better not die, though. I will be. There you go. Okay, you know what? She did a good job. She did a good- That was very good of you. She lost, what, maybe 200 health? Not even. 100-something health. You know what? I'm actually- That's very respectable. You, Queen Carnage, you're gonna be a fantastic mount one day. Yes, you. You derpy-looking motherfucker. Don't look at me like that. You and your little horns and- your adorable little arms. Look at that. Look at how, look at look at the arms. Like, <laughs> why is that a thing? Look at them. I've never seen such a derpy arms in my life. It's fantastic. Anyways, we probably want to use our hatchet on these guys because we're trying to get keratin. And uh, from what I've been told and from what I've learned, hatchets are best for keratin. Like we got one out of that. And uh, yeah, so the total amount of keratin we need for what we're trying to do is uh, quite the number. It is. We need a. Uh, Ah, 250 keratin to execute the trade with our, uh, with our tribe mates. So, we definitely gotta go on a bit of a gathering spree if we wanna get everything. And we'll probably be doing a little bit of that because I do wanna ride this bad boy. Uh, honestly, that, that's probably what we'll be doing whenever we do find the Ankylosaur, or Ankyosaur. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, cause you can kinda see where we are, uh, we're marked as home, right? So, uh... We could head to the mountain to the north of us, and I've seen a lot of Ankylosaurs there, along with Mammoth, so that's probably a very good destination. However, there are Argentavises up there too, which have been nerfed lately. That won't, might not be the biggest deal. But, so there's also Sabertooths, and Sabertooths, as you guys have probably seen from the likes of Diego, and uh, Sabertooths are killers, so we definitely want to watch out for that. Uh, Donatella, how you doing here? Donatella, you doing alright? Alright. Frodo, my man, how are you? How many levels you got? Oh, baby, alright. We're gonna continue working on this melee damage a little bit here. We'll do, uh, we'll try to get his melee damage to about 300, then we'll throw a little bit into health here. Uh, because we do want him to be a fantastic tank. You know, once we take this dodo out, Frodo the dodo, he's not gonna be a joke. Like, you guys might be thinking he's a joke, but he's not. And that is also... Because we were just talking about the mammoths and ankylosaurs. That's where I want to ask you guys in the comment section what I should tame next. Because realistically, we have three options here. We have the crocodile, which is apparently impossible. I I've, I seriously cannot find one. 
uh, albeit I have not been searching in the best places because the best places usually have Spinosaurus or Spinosauruses and T-Rexes. So I've kind of been sticking to the outskirts and trying to find some stragglers. So if we go after a Sarko next, I'll probably uh, end up going a bit more inland and uh, definitely just being a bit more prepared. And we'll probably bring Diego because I mean Diego, he could probably fuck up a Spinosaurus too. So it'll be good protection as long as we f keep him fed because uh, his melee damage has like. 440%. He's a killer at melee. I think I'll work on his health. Uh, I think I'll level up his health next time he levels, though. That will be useful. Uh, then there's the mammoths up north, which are going to be herbivores. So if that's the case, we just gotta get Mike. Just get a shit ton of berries, shit ton of narco. Well, we have a shit ton of berries. We just need a shit ton of narco at that point. So uh, it'd be pretty easy to prepare. We always just have to sit around with them for a while. So we have that. And then we have same thing with the mammoth, pretty much. Just the mammoth is gonna be used for getting wood and being massive. I think the mammoth's actually a lot more tanky. The Ankl Ankylosaurus will be used for, like, stone and metal gathering, which is actually not too shabby. And it's going to be pretty nice, because that's, like, the only stone gatherer. Just like the Mammoth is the only wood gatherer, I think. So, stone versus wood, pretty much. Or do we want the Crocodile? So we have a nice-ass <clears throat> amphibious mount, and we can actually start potentially swimming places. And then, like, it'd be pretty cool. Oh, shit. I'm starving. That's not cool. It'd be pretty cool, because if we get a Sarko, we could, like, have him swim upstream. And we could have him, like, we could build a little base camp here for him, so... That's what I really like about this spot, is just like that there's a stream leading straight to it. So literally we could just like not we can't have like the huge water mounts here, but we could have like amphibious water mounts, like we could build a little pen in the water, which in my opinion is pretty cool, but uh that's about gonna do it for me. So I hope that you guys did enjoy me showing off Queen Carnage over here for a bit. Let me let me show you her in some better lighting though. Get over your Queen Carnage. You know we'll end the episode on Queen Carnage killing another Stego, if she can manage to make it out, that is. She's not the brightest when it comes to gates. You can see her, like, trying to pull a 360 no-scope on the gate as we speak. Oh, no, she made it out. I'm proud of you, you know that? I am so proud of you. All right, Queen Carnage. Before I starve to death, at shit, I'm probably gonna starve to death. We need some berries or something, man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. I'm gonna, gra I'm gonna grab some berries real quick, then we're gonna go fuck up the Stego. And then there's also a turtle there. I'll just fuck that up on my own time because turtles, whenever I fuck them up with a Diego, like, I've gotten 10 keratin from a turtle before. That's how insane it can be. So, uh, yeah. Sabertooths, they are good at harvesting keratin, too. Heads up there. Anyways, Diego, this is your time to shine, my friend. These are Trank arrows. I don't want those. Where are the normal arrows? There we go, stone arrows. Diego, this is your time to shine, my friend. Kill the Stegosaurus. Kill it. I'm starving, but kill it. Diego, are you going to kill it? Ah, fuck. That's Queen Carnage, not Diego. Oh shit, there we go. Hey! Good shit, Queen Carnage. Fuck it up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You better not somehow die. I would actually be really salty. But no, I, I, I believe in Queen Carnage. She's done worse. There we go. Beautiful. Queen Carnage, I am so proud of you. I would pet you right now, but I'm starving, and I need to throw some berries down my throat. So hold up. I'm gonna do that. And we'll harvest this bad boy, too. And get what we can out of him. And uh, other than that, I think that's about... Oh, nice. Three keratin. God damn. Oh, and another three? That's six keratin from a stegosaur. Fuck yeah. You guys have no clue. Because this keratin is gonna be vital if we do want to pretty soon mount carnage. So, I mean, at this rate, especially with today's stream... I'm guessing that the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved, we will have a mount for Queen Carnage here, and it's going to be fucking awesome, because we will have a Carnotaurus mount, and uh, potentially also an Ankylosaurus slash Mammoth slash whatever. I don't know if the Mammoth's gonna fit in here, though. That's the problem. Mammoths are big. So I guess we're gonna have to cross that bridge when we come to it, but uh, other than that, that is pretty much gonna do it for me, so I'm gonna call it a video there. Hopefully you guys, you know, do tune into the stream if you do want to. If you don't, though, hopefully you guys do tune into next episode and the continuation of this amazing epic series. Yeah! Yeah, that's really all I can say, I guess. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, be sure to like and stress out. Sign up. Love you guys. See ya.